Hello, everybody. I am Spectacular, the Silver Stacular. Now, generally, I am the Silver Stacular, but today I do have some gold to show you. I know, I know, it's not Silver Spectacular, but it's just as decent, right? Gold? No, come on, it's way better than Silver. Anyways, let me talk to you real quick about a new coin that's in the hobby right now. It's a bullion coin, so, you know, bear with me on this. I know a lot of uh, classic collectors are going to be giving me a little grief on this, but it is beautiful. I really want to show you this coin. You get a little visual right there of it, and we're going to talk about it briefly. Also, we're going to talk about how I have managed to complete my March one tenth ounce challenge, but now I would love to show you that new coin that I'm kind of in love with. So I recently made a poll on my community tab asking the question of what kind of coin should I get? It must be gold. 29% of everyone on the poll said that a $20 St. Godin's Double Eagle should be my next purchase. Now, this is one that I've already had, but this is just an example of the St. Godin's Double Eagle. If you're all not familiar with this, it is an absolutely gorgeous coin. Uh, fan favorite among gold enthusiasts for sure. Now, it is 90% gold, so it's less than an ounce of gold, but still, don't take that away from it in any way. That's like the only negative about this beauty right here. It is stunning. Um, it's been one of the most favorite coins for collectors for many years, long before I was born. And this is a great coin to collect, man. You could just have an entire stack of nothing but St. Godin's Double Eagles, and you'd be a pretty cool collector in my book. So anyways, that's, you know, number one on the poll. Uh, number two was a Mexican 50 pesos gold coin. Those are the large gold coins. I have one of those as well. These are 37.5 grams. So these are actually larger than an ounce of gold. They're huge. And here's comparison to the 90% gold St. Godin's Double Eagle. Uh, a little bit different in size. I think you can tell that, but it is a big, big girl. That was number two in the poll. I want to talk about the third in the poll. Now, 22% of people said that I should get the 2021 one ounce Britannia gold coin. Now, this is not the one ounce. This is the 10th ounce. So this does complete my 10th ounce challenge for March. So I thought it wasn't going to come till April, but they were able to ship it out a little bit early. This was from Atmex and it is a beautiful coin. Now, real quick, I just want to mention before I start talking about this coin, um, you're thinking, hey, this is not a one ounce. You didn't follow the poll. Well, that was, like I said, the third in the list, this coin right here. The first was the St. God's Double Eagle. So I think in the future, you're going to see an unboxing of uh, possibly a new St. God's Double Eagle coin that I'm going to acquire. Uh, but with a twist, you're going to have a little twist in that video. I think you're going to really, really enjoy that video. But either way, uh, this right here is the 10th ounce. And so I had to have this, man. I saw this thing and it's just, it's stunning. A lot of people are enjoying this coin right now. Um, I've talked to many people in the community. They've got the one ounce. Uh, they got the 10th ounce. They're really, really enjoying these things. And it is a newer coin. That's, this is what's driving me crazy. Usually newer coins, I don't, you know, totally get awestruck over. I mean, I, I do collect, uh, you know, eagles, uh, gold eagles. And here is actually the first eagle that I got for the month of March, which technically was my first 10th ounce for March, but I'm going to call the Britannia now that I have it as the last coin for March, my first coin, because it's just so much more beautiful, I think, than the eagle. No offense, America, but the Britannia, in my opinion, is a much more beautiful coin right now. Now, a lot of people don't like this side right here with the queen on it. I understand that. But um, let's imagine that uh, it was somebody else on there. It's still still a nice looking coin those really fine lines on there that's just you know the anti-counterfeit measures that they put onto the coins so awesome they have this little little privy mark right here that's also an anti-counterfeit measure and i think you can see it right there and uh even the camera doesn't want to pick it up so well but that thing is great is it not it just adds so much coolness to the coin so there it is um, i think they're stunning i would definitely recommend getting one they are very neat. And get an ounce if you can get an ounce one. Why not? Um, you know, I, I already bought a decent amount of gold. I don't want to spoil too much, but you're going to see that here in the coming days. Uh, what I've done, and it's been kind of ridiculous, but um, I, I do want to, you know, keep on collecting these right here. I probably will get an ounce of this at some point just because it's so stunning. 
and I really wanted to show it off and tell you that other people have been enjoying these too. Um, it's not rare by any means. It's not like that. It's just, it's just great looking, man. They did such a good job and I really want to, you know, show off what they're, what they're doing over there. But, uh, this right here was one of my previous 10th ounce gold pieces that I really enjoyed. And they made an ounce of this too, I believe. This was the Korean Tiger. And uh, this was just, you know, such a, a neat, neat little coin. Well, it's actually a medallion, isn't it? So it's not a coin, it was a medallion. But regardless, call it what you want. It's uh, it's beautiful nonetheless. And they had a little anti-counterfeiting measure uh, in theirs as well. And uh, I just think it's so cool. But that was my previous. Um, it does come in this little assay card, which is kind of neat. So yeah, March is complete for me. Let me know if you're still on with this challenge. Let me know if your March challenge is complete, if you've been up uh, to date to this point, if you're going to continue, if you're on the road, if you're kind of worried about gold prices. You know, leave me some comments. I'm kind of curious what's going on with you. Um, but yeah, man, check out some of these beautiful gold coins. I mean, the, the 50 pesos gold is stunning. It's so awesome. If you don't have one, you know, try to save up for one. They are you know, a little bit more expensive because they're over an ounce. St. Gaudens Double Eagle, man, I want every one of my followers one day, every single one of you to have a St. Gaudens Double Eagle. I think, oh man, just put it put it right next to you while you're sleeping and just, just cuddle up to it. Make sure it's in an airtight before you do all the cuddling because you don't want it to get all scuffed up. But man, just cuddle up to this coin right here at night. It's so beautiful. Anyways, um, I got to go for now. Now that you see that I'm actually in love with my coins. Wow. Um, get one of these Britannias, man. These things are so cool. A lot of people are enjoying this coin right now. You're going to see it on a lot of different channels because they're talking about it. It is great. Anyways, I got to go for now. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Spectacular is out. <laughs>